Hey friends, Rachel with Bubbly Balloon Co. here. Today we're gonna have a little bit of fun with a requested video that I got asked to do. And we're gonna be cleaning out all of my storage drawers, taking inventory and stock of all of the balloons I have to hand, kind of um, planning out. Like I'm gonna be shopping from my own stock. I have a lot of videos planned for you guys in the near future. And I kind of need to get my supplies out, see what I'm missing, so that I can go ahead and order, you know, what I don't have. And uh, yeah, it's just gonna be a little bit of like a clean out, reorganize, uh, you know, inventory, and um, shopping from my own stock, if that's a thing. Oh gosh, is that what an existential crisis feels like? Ooh, that's a big drawer. Oh, that changes everything. <gasps> Yes! My assistant today is going to be Ollie, if you can see him. You'll probably see him trotting around or laying at my feet throughout. Let's dive right in. So if you haven't seen my How I Organize My Balloon Stock video, you might not recognize this space. This is just the opposite view. This is where the camera usually is filming my workstation. Um, right now my camera is where I usually stand and I'm where the camera usually is because this is where I keep all of my balloon stock. In here I have overflow, I have all my specialty balloons. We'll jump into those. This is where I really keep the majority of my colors and my different stock. Back here I keep like my hoops, my foam boards for mosaics, all my like random accessories. I have all my florals, all my other stuff up in this cabinet as well. And I do have a couple other hiding spots around the room where I keep like bulk balloons and things like that. But we're gonna be focusing mostly on this today. I will jump into a little bit in here as well to show you my specialty stock, my foils, stuff like that. So let's start off with my neutral drawer. That's a big drawer. I wanna make sure you can see what I'm bringing out and I don't think I have enough table space to put a whole drawer at a time. So we'll just start with the first row. So it starts off, you know me, like OCD, Roy G. Biv. What's the first color? Transparent, no color, right? So these are a bunch of transparent balloons I use for like under the sea designs, stuff like that. Um, so I put them all in a bag. I just find that kind of like, I don't know if I have some stock left over, random sizes or whatever of one color. I kind of like uh, keeping it all together sometimes so it doesn't get separated in my drawer. Anyway, so there's my bag of transparent. Obviously the first color. And I think all of these are just white sand. A lot of times I call it sand, but it's actually called white sand by Sempertex. Okay, I have four bags left to five inches. Five bags left of nine inches or four and a half. One, two, three, four, five, six bags of 11 inch white sand here. And then I only have two bags of the 24 inch, but there's 10 balloons in each. So that's actually quite a lot of 24 inch balloons. I should probably work through some of this because this is a lot. And of course, I organize by size, right? So you can see all that on my organized video, but yeah, it's gonna go smallest to largest. You know, I keep the largest in the back of the drawer, so. I'm just uh, putting it back in order here before I go. Like, how did I fit this in one drawer? Look at this, it's so cool. Anyway, oh, you guys, like it's, it's like longer than my arm. <laughs> and then these are all of the bins that I'm like shopping into. Like when I find stock that I want to use on a, on a job in the near future, this is where I'm putting it in like by job or however inspires me. And oh, there's my new camera. I um. I hope you guys can tell a difference lately. I recently invested in some filming equipment and some gear to kind of shoot, make better videos. And I used to film everything on my iPhone, which is what this is being shot on. But uh, I, I hope it makes a difference. Next row. This is on my Cameo. Three bags of five inch left and then four bags of 11 left. If we kind of uh, flash back to my unboxing video when I ordered all of this stock from the vintage collection, it was really, really hard to find, first of all. And I couldn't find mo like many sizes. I couldn't find a 36, 24, 17, and hardly anything. So um, Cameo, I think I can only find five and 11. And this is like, you know, my favorite neutral right now. So whew, if anyone knows where you can find some different sizes in this, let me know. I'm certainly gonna do a little looking after this. But that's what I've got left of Cameo. Okay, I have a bunch of different ivories. Well, not a bunch. I think I have two or three different ivories. So this is the Decomax or Decomax or whatever you call it ivory. It's pastel ivory. I have nine inch and 12 inch. And I have two partial bags of each because I'm silly. And I apparently opened both of them. 
These are nine inch ivory silk from Qualitex. I think last Halloween I had a really hard time finding a soft color I was trying to include in kind of like a more mellow fall Halloween look. So I found this ivory silk, but I could only find the one size. And I really, guys, when I buy sizes, I wanna buy all the, like when I buy a color, I wanna buy all the sizes. I want that like variance in size. I think that's what makes things look so good is when you have 5, 9, 11, 17, 24, 36. And there are artists who don't really use so many of the fives and that can look fantastic. Um, but I really think having that 17, 24, 36 looks incredible. And you can't pull off a 36 in every environment or even a 24, but that beautiful 17, 11, 9, 5 balance, like it's just gorgeous. So when I have like one size of a color, mostly it's to play with for me or try to incorporate into a design that has other sizes already. Okay, then I have a bunch of pearl ivory. So I have two partial bags of 11. Again, why? Why would I do this to myself? And then I have one bag left of 30 inch, which is very unusual. I usually do 24, 36. Very rare to do 30 for me, but again, it was one of those colors, hard to find inventory on. Okay, finally, the last thing in my neutrals drawer is, um, this is already kind of organized is all my multi-packs, my multi-colors and stuff. So these are like random multi-packs I got, I don't know. I think this one came with some helium I bought once and I don't know what this came with to be honest. And then here's all my pastels from Sempertex. They make these beautiful like matte pastel multi-packs and um, they're super cute. I've, I used them I think in my strip video. I love these. I've used them actually a bunch of times for kids parties, all sorts of stuff. I really, really like these. So these, I have four of the five inch left. I have three nine inch left. And then I have three bags of 11 inch. Plus, if you can see back there, a handful of balloons that are left over from a job that I had gotten rid of the bag already, apparently. So yeah, this is my rainbow, my matte pastel here, my bright random whatevers. Hopefully this comes in handy like Sunday, I don't know. So after I've organized by size, I do smallest in the front, largest in the back, just because it's easy for me. Um, it's the same rule of like food in your pantry or fridge applies. If you've ever worked in a restaurant or food service, you know the oldest stuff is in the front. The stuff that's already opened is in the front. You need to use that stuff first, right? If you take good care of your balloon sock, you keep it out of direct sunlight, you keep it cool, you keep it you know, in a non-human environment, you're supposed to be able to get about a year of life out of your balloons. So that's one thing I'm looking for on this kind of like clean out as well is what's getting old? What do I need to use up? You know, what should I find a way to incorporate in an upcoming design so I don't lose that stock? Now this is a really full drawer and I'm having to like really tuck some stuff in there. So, Hey, first drawer done. Now we're gonna get into my pink, red, orange, and yellow drawer. My Roy drawer. Okay, now um, I guess depending on where I am on the rainbow, I'm going darkest to lightest or lightest to darkest. So on the reds, being the beginning of the rainbow, I am going darkest to lightest, more or less. Some of these aren't labeled, but I remember this is either maroon or burgundy from Qualitex. It was from last Thanksgiving. Um, I had very few left over. I used almost all of them in a beautiful fall job I did. So that's pretty much my darkest red. I have some of these from Party City that I think are from Christmas like five years ago, and they actually still are fine. So that's cool. Then, ooh. These are just red from Qualitex. They're so pretty. They're, I think, like the perfect Christmas red. And I have some really cool Christmas stuff planned for this year. Yes, already, because I'm that bitch. I can't wait. <clears throat> My pinks got ahead of themselves. Okay, I have one bag of 11 inch ruby red. And again, a lot of these I just bought to play with. <laughs> I'm like, have fun with. Because, um,. Maybe there wasn't all the sizes available, so I couldn't do like the full job I was hoping to do. And again, when I just have like one color, I'm pretty much just playing with those, you know what I mean? If I was gonna do a whole ass job, I'd try to get all the sizes, or I think on those, they just weren't available, but you know what I'm saying. Okay, these are more Party City balloons. Um, it looks like I have two or three different pinks in here. I actually don't even know when I'll use these, but maybe the time will arise, so I should just hold on to them, right? I shouldn't. I should chuck them. I'm going to make a practice bin. How's that? Here, I'm going to make this bin here be for anything that I'm not really going to use in a job, but can just be for practicing. New techniques, new styles, whatever. 
Ooh, okay, so these are Tuftex pink, and obviously these aren't all five inches. I can see there's larger ones in here. Um, I think if I remember, I had very few left after a job. They look like the double stuff, so this is probably like what I could use as an accent for one small garland, but that's good to know. Okay, I have a bunch of Qualtex Rose. I think at one point it was really hard to find, and I ended up finding on multiple sites at once, and I ordered it everywhere. And I've made my way through most of it. Mother's Day Garland helped a lot. But yeah, I had like so many bags of rose for a while. I kept finding them in my house. I'm like, why? Why do I need five bags of rose? It is a great color, but you know what I'm saying. All right, so I've got two open bags of 11 inch left. And then I've got one open bag of five. And then I have my one open bag of 17 inch baby pink. If you saw my unboxing video, um, they only had 17 available and I feel like it goes really well. If I was doing like, I don't know, if I was doing a, a garland of like 11 and 17 white or something, that 17 baby pink would make great pops along the way. Or even maybe these rows or something like that where I, I had 11s and 5s and other sizes and I could throw this in as an accent and those big 17s. I like that. He usually lays in that bed next to my desk all day while I'm editing and whatever. So um, he couldn't get comfortable in here, but I hope that keeps him comfy. Okay, serious question on the rainbow. Does pink go before or after red? Because right now I have dark red um, through lighter reds, through the dark pinks to the lighter pinks, and I, I don't know. Guys, where do you live? There's no pee in there. Let me know. Ooh, I am obsessed with these. And these were metallic pink balloons I got on Amazon. This is um, it's, it's all one color, but they have a bunch of sizes in here, like many sizes. I was surprised. I think five different sizes in here. And these are surprisingly awesome. I've only had the chance to use them like once, I think, but I, I actually genuinely was blown away with how cool they are. So I keep them in my pink drawer because I think of them more like a color, but I wonder if I should put them in my chrome drawer. Oh gosh, is that what an existential crisis feels like? I would use these as a color in a garland more than I would use them as an accent chrome balloon. So I'll keep them in my pinks. Okay, guys, we've hit the rosewood stash. Everybody knows mama loves a good rosewood. Oh, I'm running out of rosewood, how sad. I have three bags of 11 inch left. And with Sempertex, um, the bags I get are always 50 balloons. I don't even know if they make larger bags. But when I say three bags, it's not like three bags of Qualitex or Tuftex when, you know, they come in 144. So yeah, 150 rosewoods left. I do have two 36s and I have 10 24s. So I would love to do something really grand with these. And oh my gosh, these metallic pinks would look so good in a color block with these. These are going in a playtime drawer. I want some playtime with rosewood and chrome pink. So yeah, that's happening. All right, I'll put this in a little bin for my later use. Okay, now I'm into my Top Decks Burnt Orange, which is obviously like the best color for fall and Halloween and stuff. And I used the shit out of it last year. I think I went through 20 bags or something. This is all I have left of it. Six bags of five inch, and I think a lot of these are double stuffed. Ugh, if you can see, I don't know if you can see in there. Uh, yeah, anyway, these are double stuffed. I have a few random stragglers, like 36s and stuff. And then a little half bag of double stuff, 11s. I ordered this color without ever having seen it. And I'm a little bit stumped. I'm actually hoping one of you has an idea for me. This is the color rose gold from Top Decks. You can see the color is super different. And I just never really know what to do with it. I actually really like the color. Okay, so this is, it's, it's more like a metallic when you inflate it. I mean, uninflated, it kind of looks like a chrome. But inflated, it looks like a metallic, but it's thicker than most metallics I'm used to. Um, I do think it's super pretty. I didn't end up using it. So anyway, I've got two bags of 11 and two bags of five in rose gold. I have my bright oranges after that. So I think I just have this little bag left from like Walmart, I think, which I'm just gonna throw in my never gonna use thing because I'm, I don't have anything else from that color. This is um, five inch pearl mandarin orange. And this is 11 inch pearl mandarin orange. So I've got like 10 left or less of these. And then the, the three foot, the 36 inches I have are just orange. So these are mismatching. Should probably order more orange. Okay, we are now in the of my Roy G booth. Now I used almost all of my mustard last fall because, ooh, so obsessed with this color. 
So I have one partial bag of 11 left, one partial bag of 50 left, and then a handful of, I don't know, 24s, 17s, something like that. Okay, so I've got a little bit left of mustard, and again, this was just, oh, I'm really curious to see what Tough Decks is gonna come out with for their next collection, if it's gonna be summer or fall or something. Um, but their fall collection last year was fire. So yeah, still obsessed with that. And then this is just the yellow, I don't know, like banana yellow, <laughs> I don't know. It's just called yellow. It's pretty great. I think I wanna do something with this for summer. I'm gonna make a summer playtime box. That bright yellow, man, I like it. It's cheery, it's sunshine, it feels good. I'm so sorry, I have all these large ones too. Oh, oh, that changes everything. <gasps> yes, we should do something yellow. That's happening. Okay, well we cleaned that drawer out by taking out all those rosewood and chrome paints. Man, I got some room in there, I better fill it up. Look how much nicer this drawer is now after cleaning it up. Oh, so much better. It was so full, like I hardly opened it before.